lockdown. There is an active shooter in the building. This is not a drill. This computer training developed by the Army Research Lab at UCF helps unarmed teachers understand what to do during an active shooter emergency. But this might be the new kind of training for some teachers after the House, along Republican Party lines, passed and sent to the governor a bill that would allow school districts to arm and train teachers, something the teachers' unions promised to continue to fight. Guns creates a real danger to students and other people on campus. We don't believe that's a role for teachers. For districts that already allow non-teaching staff to be armed under the state's Guardian program, millions of your tax dollars are already being spent. Records obtained by West 2 Investigates show more than $9.3 million has been spent statewide. The six Central Florida counties participating spent more than $3 million. Firearms and bullets are among the biggest expenses. Lake County spent more than $43,000, and Putnam spent more than $34,000 on guns, holsters, and ammo. But Marion County's big expense, $13,500, was for psychological exams for Guardian candidates. And Volusia spent nearly $48,000 on bulletproof vests and uniforms. Polk County spent the most money on firearms training, more than $420,000. But Brevard spent the most on active shooter training supplies, more than $280,000. That includes $125,000 to buy one of the most advanced training simulators. It's designed to help officers protect students, teachers, and school employees. And as you can see by the different ways different counties prioritize spending in the Guardian program, there is no federal or state standard when it comes to Army and training school staff, leaving two dozen sheriffs around the state to make their own decisions about how best to protect school campuses. Stuart. All right, Greg, thank you. And